Hello guys, this video shows how you can create kit bash pieces that you can insert into your object. Uh, this is specifically this video will cover more of like little screws and holes and little kind of details that subtract into the model. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description. It's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix. It's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and start with a box. In the center, in the origin, I'll press C. And we'll go ahead and create a box right here. The purpose of this box is it allows us to see how the final result will look. And what I mean by that is a lot of times when you're creating an object, like let's say a cylinder like this. And then let's say, for example, that, you know, I go ahead and select this and I go ahead and press, uh, you know, shift D and then uh, I, I go ahead and I uh, exclude that, for example, let's say I make a little screw detail here. The problem with this is that we don't actually see how it looks in the final result. We have to kind of um, kind of have to select this and kind of have to uh, press Control D to place that and kind of put it right there and then kind of put it right there. And then uh, once we're done, now we can go ahead and subtract it and you know, that's the final result. So because of having to see through this, we can't quite really see how the detail will look. So. By using this box, we'll be able to see, we'll be able to actually subtract inside of it and see how the final result works. And I'll show what we can do to uh, finalize it. All right, so, you know, let's say I create a detail right here. All right, we can select this. We can uh, R, X to rotate that. Uh, do the same for this. All right, then we can, uh, you know, fill it that. I like to have show edges set to a hotkey that way I can see it without that. All right, so let's say I've got this kind of detail right here. And so obviously we can't just pop this cube into here, but as you can see, the cube allows us to preview what the result will look like. And what I recommend is having both the cube to see what it looks like, as well as the final object. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll select this and I'll press Shift D and then Y. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'll press through to go into face level. And I'll just go ahead and select all these faces. I will now press Alt J to detach them. We now are left with this. And actually guys, a better way to do this is just to select this, cap the hole first, patch the hole first, then you can select the flat surface and move that up. So I feel that's a much better method. All right, okay, so just like that, we have both the object we use to Boolean insert and then a visual preview because of course this right here because the top is closed we can't see what it actually looks like but this this box here with this boolean will let us know what it looks like and then we just actually select and use this right here so now i can for example create a sphere here and uh, i can select this right here Control d for the place tool All right so i can place that on here and now i can actually you know, boolean this away so you can see how 
I'm able to have this preview where I actually select this object. Now I can select this and give this little fillets as well. All right, thank you for watching and take care.